So in this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can train a custom YOLO 11 model with Google Colab. So we're going to use the free GPU resources available from Google Colab. So if you just want to train your own model, you have the free resources in there. We basically just need to jump into it. We have some tutorials and examples from Autolytics. We can just directly use that, connect our data set. We can use RoboFlow or whatever annotation tool. We also have videos covering like how we can set up auto annotation, how we can set up the whole annotation, basically the whole computer vision pipeline that we use for computer vision projects. So if you just start inside the Autolytics GitHub repository, we can basically go inside our examples and then inside our examples. If you scroll a bit further down, we can see we have this tutorial.ipind.b. So this is basically just a notebook covering like everything that we can do with YOLO 11, both prediction, training and all of that. You can just download the raw file, upload it into a Google Colab notebook and I've already done that. So once we have done that, we can go in and connect to the GPU. So if you're on a free version, change runtime and you can go in and choose this T4 GPU. You have some limited resources available and so on, but again, it's more than enough to go in and train your own custom YOLO 11 model and also test out a bunch of different variations, train for a couple of times and it's more than enough for that. So let's just connect to this T4 GPU, which is a free GPU resource. Now we pretty much have everything. We have the whole collab here. We can see the table of context to the left. So we have setup, prediction, validation, how we can train the own model, how we can export it and use it in our own custom Python script. But we can use YOLO 11 for both detection, segmentation, instant segmentation, classification, post estimation, and also ornate bounding boxes. So all these tasks are supported with Ultralytics. So if you just dive straight into it, let's connect to the runtime. I have opened up RoboFlow as well, where we're just going to take one of the data sets, which we can export directly from in here. We just need a data YAML file where we specify the path to our directories and then also the classes that we want to predict for our data set. We have videos covering all of it, like how you can set up your whole data set, also from local tools and so on. So definitely check those videos out. First of all here, let's just go in and pip install Autolytics. This is the first step that we need to do. After we've done that, we're just going to run an image example through our YOLO 11 model. We just choose the nano version. So let's just run that. First of all, when you run it for the first time, it's going to download the model weights and also this image. So if you go inside our directory or the files over here to the left, we can see we have our downloaded model and we also have our sedan image, which we downloaded inside the runs. We will now get a detection folder, predict, and we can go in and see our predictions on top of that. So this is basically just the same image as we have inside the Google Colab notebook. So we can see it is the exact same thing. The confidence scores are a bit different because it could be a different model. But again, we get the same results. If we just close this, go to the next step, we have our validation. So we can open up, download these files here. So this is just a Coco data set that we can run evaluation on and you can just run this command and it's going to do evaluation in your data set, but you can also connect your own custom one. We only need to specify the model. We can use a pre-trained one or we can use a fine tune on our own custom data set after we are done training it. So let's do that after we have trained the model and we also just need to specify our data YAML file. So let's now go down to the fun part, which is training a custom YOLO 11 model with these free GPU resources from a Google Colab. So first of all, we can just set up our logger. We're just going to use TensorBoard, but you can also use comment. We also have options and so on for weights and biases. We have videos covering pretty much all of that. So that is the first step. Now we just need to connect a single command. First of all, I'm going to add a code snippet. You could have it in Drive, you could have it on your own local machine and so on with the directory, but I just have it from RoboFlow. So you can go inside our annotate, annotate all our images. Right now, just have this data set already annotated. It's just cop that we want to detect. So you can go in and draw these bounding boxes on top of it. And this is pretty much how it looks. So if I go back again, I already have a version. I can just download the data set. YOLO 11, show downloadable code. I'll hit continue here. Then it's going to zip the files. We'll just get a code snippet. We can copy it, paste it directly into a Google Colab notebook. So that's what I'm going to do here. So once we have that, we can just run this. It's going to pip install RoboFlow, zip our folder, basically just unzip it into our directory. And that's pretty much it. So if we just go a bit further down, we can then just train it directly. We just need to make sure that we actually have our data set. There we go. Now we have our data set over to the left. We have our test train and also validation split. So this is the exact format that you need. And for our labels, we need to have it in this format. So these will be the coordinates normalized to the image width and image height, and then also our class in the first index here. So this is the format that we're using from Autolytics to train all our models for update detection and also very similar to the other task. 
So this is how you need it. And then we also need our data.yaml file. So if we just open up our data.yaml file, we can see we have the path to our train validation and test and also the names for our classes. Over here to the left, we can just go in and copy paste the path to our YAML file. And we just need to swap it out here. Let's just train for 10 epochs just for testing purposes. And this is pretty much the only that we need. So we have the YOLO command, we have the model, and then we're pretty much good to go. It's going to open up the training set, our validation set, set up the different high parameters, all the optimizers, the plotting tools, and all of that. Here we can see we have the optimizer and they will start at the first epoch, run it through 10 epochs and we can go in and evaluate our model, export it and use it in our own custom applications and projects. And this is how easy it is. Just need our data set in correct format. Need to set up the Google Colab notebook here with the free GPU resources and we're good to go. So now we can see it's training. So let's just wait until it's done training and we can take a look at it. So now we can see that our model is done training and it is increasing in the mean error position over the number of epochs. Even after just 10 epochs here, it is okay. Of course, we need to train it longer if we want to use it in a real world project. We can see that the class is here. So this is basically just running evaluation and validation after it's done training. And you can see the results for each individual class. So if we go into our runs folder again, we now have this detection and we have our train. Inside our train, we can go in and find the best weights. So we have our best weights and also the last weight for the last epoch. Then we have all the curves here, all the performance metrics and so on that we can take a look at and basically just see how our model performs. It's good to look at this results.png shows the losses and also the mean error positions, how they're converging over time and so on. So that's very good to do your model evaluation and see how it performs. We can also go down and take a look at one of the validation batches. So this is pretty much just taking images that it hasn't been trained on before and show those results. So if you just take a look at the results, we can see that our model hasn't really converged yet. It can still go lower in the loss and also increase in the mean error position. It's still fluctuating in the first 10 epochs, the validation batches here. We can take a look at how the model does at predicting. So we can see that it still predicts pretty much all the cops here and these images, it has not been trained on these, only the training images and validation is just for evaluating our model. So this is how our model performs now. We're able to go in and detect these cops in our data set and in our images. So if you scroll a bit further down in our notebook, we can then see how we can use it and export it into different formats. All these formats are covered. We cover like we have videos covering all of it, how we can export it, use it and so on. So we just need to go in, take the path to our best ways, swap it out here, specify what format we want to export into, run the command, and that's pretty much it. There we go. Now we can also see that we have this best.tor script, so we also have it in that format now. If we then want to go down and use it, again, this is how we can use it in a custom Python script. We have videos covering like way more details about it, so definitely check that out. It's going to load in the model architecture, the weight files, and so on, all of that automatically. We can throw in our data YAML file as well, so let's go ahead and grab that. There we go, data YAML file, copy the path. So we can go in and act like run predictions on that or just take one from the test set, have our images. We copy the path to one of those. Just need to throw it in here. We don't want to do the export, but this is pretty much how you can do each of the individual steps that we just did with our command line commands. But you can also do the exact same thing in Python. You should be able to see the results after this. So we just load in our model that we have trained, throw it through this result, and you can extract everything, the bounding boxes, confidence scores, classes, and so on from this results variable. Now we should get a new prediction folder. So we have to check. We have predict. Or we need to specify save. So we have a bunch of different arguments as well. So we also need to save the results. You can also specify show and it will show it if you're using like your own local environment and it can open up a viewer. So now we should actually have our predict two. There we go. And we have our image with our predictions. So this is how you can train a custom YOLO 11 model with the whole pipeline free on GPU resources from Google Colab. Definitely go and check it out. It's just a few steps that you need to do. I did a lot of explanation, but it can be done in just a few minutes. Go ahead and check it out and then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy training.